Probably laid down here because it's nice and warm and just uh, being weakened, uh, couldn't get up. A young bull, probably a couple years old, it's got antlers here. It never even took time to get the, the velvet all rubbed off. Normally the velvet will will aid the growth of those things and then in the in the late summer they'll they'll start to rub those antlers and clean them off because that's the rutting season. This guy was too young to really know what life was all about yet as far as rutting season was concerned, so he didn't even bother to clean the, the, the stuff off his antlers. Notice they, they don't have any teeth right in here except for one. They got grinding teeth back here, they got incisors on the bottom and no teeth on top. So when they when they bite grass, they don't bite it off, they pinch it off. They'll get those teeth against that hard gum and they pull it. So they're very noisy when they're eating. You can hear that grass snapping off as they pull it off, but they don't really chop it off. Just a, a hard old gum up there like some guy with no teeth on top. Uh, this little tooth, there's one on either side on the top and it's the it's the remnant of what once was in evolution probably a canine tooth like like coyotes and, and tigers and so forth have those sharp meat tearing teeth and and this didn't serve any purpose because this is the vegetarian so over the years of evolution this thing's rounded off we call this the ivory there's one on either side and and uh, it's a wonder that's still here because a lot of folks come along and pull those out of these dead dead animals uh, they will polish up and and make uh, uh, pretty ornaments. The Indians would use those to, to decorate their, their clothes with and, uh, and members of the Elk Club today like those little teeth for a watch bob or something. They will polish up pretty nice. You can see what happens when an animal dies. The scavengers come in and, and they hardly ever rip the rib cage open. They just go right in there and they like the entrails first. Especially a grizzly bear. He likes the entrails and the coyotes will feed on the flesh. But you can see how they just really peel most of the flesh off of that thing now. Probably coyotes. Uh, grizzly bears usually they'll they'll bite, and they, they got such strong teeth when they bite a bone like that they just crunch it right in half. Mm -hmm. Coyotes can't do that. They just kind of scrape at them. But uh, a grizzly bear gets a hold of a leg bone that big around, just one bite and it breaks right in half. They're they're tough old critters. Did this What's one die me? probably because weakened from the winter? Yeah, or Ill? yeah. Most of the animals you see out here died from winter kill. Just just the weaker ones that didn't make it through that hard winter. They get to the a lot of time to get into spring in, in April and things are going pretty good. The grasses are coming up and the snow's melted and then all of a sudden you get one of those big old heavy spring storms that'll dump two feet of snow and these guys are just so weak they can't plow through two feet of snow again, they just give up. <laughs>